la nautica. Boating, a wonderful world that every year comes together through amazing events, boat shows, sailboats, motorboats, yachts, rafts, inflatables, gathered all in one place to be seen, tried and dreamed of. This is the 61st edition of the Genoa International Boat Show and today we're going to discover some of the really interesting small and medium-sized boats, not only those used for pleasure, but let's take it one step at a time. Let's start from the beginning. This is The Boat Show. How to better start our tour if not with an inflatable boat? And we must talk about this one, the new Salpa Soleil 18. It is the smallest of the Neapolitan shipyards, yet it has all the typical features that characterize the Soleil range. Expandable stern sun deck, a large sun deck at the bow and fiberglass vertex. The deck layout is asymmetrical and the spaces are optimized for maximum comfort on a 6-meter boat. If motorized with a 40 or 70 horsepower engine, it is a perfect solution, even for those who don't have a license, although the maximum power available is 115 horsepower. Here in Genoa, Joker Boat arrives with a redesigned version of one of its past models. This is the Joker Boat Clubman 22 Plus. In reality, the only element in common with the old model is the name, because this Plus version extends the boat up to 7 meters, as well as offering really interesting solutions. The very large bow allows very spacious areas. The helm seat folds down to allow a 360-degree seating around the cockpit table, which is shaded by a standard awning. Last, but a very important gem of this boat is that to reach to the onboard systems. Even the top of the bridge house is reversible. I'm thinking, since it is easily accessible, then it must be a good inflatable. Design is the constant search for beauty, but can it be just that? Well, not on a boat, and this inflatable behind me is proof of that. This is the Renier R11. You can tell from the smallest details if those who build boats are also frequent navigators. The research for division and compartmentalization of spaces is very precise and accurate, also in accessing them for storage. Here is a specific locker for the garbage. The awning is elegantly retractable and there is also a coffee corner area. It has two 350 horsepower inboards, very deep keel. It promises to sail very well. If you're looking for a different habitability from the inflatable boats, Beneteau is presenting here in Genoa a redesigned version of their past 46 model, but with some really interesting gems. This is the Beneteau Gran Turismo 45. Anyone who has navigated with Beneteau knows the interior layout very well. Two cabins and two bathrooms. But on the new GT45, the wall that separated the inside from the outside has been knocked down. Well, actually, in this case, up. And the stern there is another surprise. If you don't know which toys you should bring with you on vacation, well, don't worry, because you don't have to choose. This is the only boat in its category to have both the garage and the tender lift bridge. So you can have both the tender and the jet ski. The key words are easy, spacious and for everyone. And the catamaran, even a motorized one, represents them all perfectly. This is Fountain Pajot My 4S. The advantages of the multi-hulls compared to the mono-hulls are very simple to understand. The space doubles both above and below deck. The brightness in the living area is incomparable thanks to the windows on the outside 
and lots of stability, especially in the harbour. And then the easy management is essential. Therefore, shaft line transmission and no more systems that require constant maintenance. Wandering around the docks of the International Boat Show, well, they don't go unnoticed. Who am I talking about? The boats of Axopub. We know this Nordic Finnish shipyard very well, but today in Italy they have on display a Mediterranean range. The classic Axopar seats are no longer present, but they've been replaced by these two sofas. Yeah, beautiful, amazing. But the best thing about Axopar is that it really navigates well. There are many types of boats on display and each one with a specific function. Let's go check out those made especially for fishing. The Sardinian shipyard Marino is bringing to the Genoa International Boat Show its flagship model, the Marino 630. It has been designed for the best fishing trips. The stern cabinet and double live wall tank can be folded down to reach the onboard systems. There is a leaning post with a space for the igloo and the pilot house is covered by a fiberglass hard top with a rod holder at the stern. At the bow there are three horseshoe shaped lockers and a large 200 litre locker and the anchor compartment is divided in two for the setting up on the bow engine. The ideal power on the transom? 150 horsepower. If you were to think of the best boat to sail, wouldn't you think of a military boat? Yeah, I know. We are talking about a fishing boat and not a destroyer. However, the Med Company, with its Med Defence Division, has gained enormous experience in the military field, and it used it to develop this inflatable, the Valiant Med 850. The tube are high and positioned very externally to leave plenty of space in the cockpit. Deep kill, manoeuvrability worth of a performing military vehicle. The live well tank with constant recirculation is gel coated on the inside and circular on the side edges. In short, an eight and a half meter Italian inflatable boat, great for the most extreme fishing trips. Fishing boats are considered as the best boats for sailing, so why not use them also for pleasure boating? This is the 3B Craft 330 CCS. The peculiarity of this boat is its great livability that could be found on a boat with fishing DNA a cabin with two berths and separate bathroom, sink and toilet, and a large bow sun deck, are luxuries that not all shipyards offer on a complete fishing unit like this one. Plus, it can also be powered with three engines with 350 horsepower each. Being able to navigate in all weather conditions is one of the prerogatives that makes a boat a real boat. In collaboration with the 33-time world champion in boat fishing, Marco Volpi, the Tucoli shipyard has created this little jet, a 21-foot treasure, the Tucoli 210VM. It has a very solid structure with an admirable seaworthiness and logistically designed for every possible need during fishing. This new model by Tucoli has the live well tank at the stern, rod holders on the gunwale, padded stringers and a central console covered by a hardtop which completely closes the helm station with the windshield. Also, there's lots and lots of space in the lockers. This way the boat looks perfect. Now the only thing that's missing is a good fisherman. 
These are just a few of the boats on display at the 61st Genoa International Boat Show. But after all, we know that all boats are like the sea, a vast area waiting to be discovered.